This is one of a series of interviews with past Grand Masters of Michigan Masonry. In 1826, several lodges gathered in Detroit to form the Grand Lodge of Michigan, free and accepted Masons. The first Grand Master was Lewis Cass, at that time the territorial governor. Since the founding of the Grand Lodge in 1826, 165 Michigan Masons have held the illustrious position of Grand Master. In the fall of 2011, 24 past Grand Masters of Michigan Masonry are living. These men have come from diverse walks of life, from humble pursuits to positions of high influence. Each of them has had a story to tell. The following is an interview capturing the recollections of one of those past Grand Masters. The Oral History Project uh, was a result of a conversation we had in the library one day where we were talking about uh, some of the great stories that we had in Michigan Masonry. Uh, some of the wonderful men that have belonged to the fraternity over the years and how interesting it would be to hear their stories in their own words. We had a brother who had the largest Chevy collection in the world. Uh, we have a brother who has the largest fire engine collection in the world. We have another brother whose father was a Civil War veteran, one of the only living son of a Civil War veteran in the United States. Uh, we've had some wonderful stories that we never would have known about had it not been for the Oral History Project. And the other great thing, I think, is that when you ask a brother to participate in this project, the, the emotions that you see from them. We had one brother that started crying because we were interested in his story. And I think that's just awesome.